Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at some of the biggest news in the crypto space, some fantastic opportunities as well in this bear market. I want to raise some trends and a seed round that you might be interested in. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video right let's get down to the desktop okay so i want to sort of just talk through some of the uh, projects that we have been doing seed rounds for recently and talk about the one that we've got uh, in the discord right now and uh, you know it might be over by the time that you you, you get looking at this but like yeah look um hypercycle has done very very well um it's at 52 cents 72 um down 5.92 in the last seven days percent wise um but our community were getting into this at less than three cents so look fantastic opportunities at cheeky crypto and uh you know we've uh, sorted through and got some really solid projects that nick and myself have been talking about uh, you know, for, for our community to get in. So definitely check out the Discord, check out cheekycrypto.io, cheeky crypto membership there, uh, seven day free trial, check all that stuff out. But, you know, Hypercycle is a recent one. Uh, the most recent one is Sophia Verse. I'm just going to show you two. It's at 20 cent now. Again, I think this was at like 2 cent 75 uh, per coin at seed round through our Discord an nft so do check that out but the most recent one the one we're doing right now is twin protocol again under the singularity ecosystem and we ain't pissing about with these private sales and seed rounds solid projects solid tech solid teams you name it they've got it and uh, i think that you know not every project that we do in seed round or um private round uh, will suit each investor that's why you have to go away do your own research see whether it resonates with you but we give you all the tools enable enabling you to do that in our discord uh, you know jump down free to join the discord ask if you're, you're unsure and uh, you, you know start doing your research and see whether it resonates with you but i mean we've made some you know of our community an awful lot of money through some of these seed rounds and private sales um, and you can just ask the community what their thoughts and opinions are on everything uh, that we've done in the discord go check it out i really do encourage people to stop being closed-minded be more open-minded be more successful by being more open-minded right um obviously not every uh you know seed round and private sale is going to do as well as say hypercycle um, but what i would say is you know there's more risk with with uh, seed rounds but come you know what comes with uh more risk is more reward uh for the ones that are successful so definitely check it out uh go do your research you know no financial advice from us um you know you can take it or you can leave it but you know i do encourage people to be open-minded and l at least look at these things because People have missed so many opportunities uh, that we've talked about on this channel. And I'm not somebody that, um, you know, talks out of my ass. I, I really do spend a lot of time researching these projects and uh, they don't slip through the the net like um, and get into to seed rounds and private rounds that we do uh, unless they're really good projects in our opinion. So, um, you know, we do our research. We encourage you to do the same. Um, but this is a really interesting project. I have done a video on it in far more detail. But, you know, just imagine you know, being able to make a, a twin of yourself that, you know, can answer your, you know, questions you yeah, know perhaps do video content if you've got an avatar version of you maybe you know um later on in life you know uh your loved ones will be able to talk to your twin as and and as if it was you and ask you questions about your life and stuff like that i think um the the options and uh stuff that can you know this one could be utilized for is uh, endless it's really really interesting so definitely go check that out out i think uh, as well it, it's worth sort of highlighting that there are other opportunities in the space right there you've got the uh, crypto trading bots are taking over telegram and uh, there's lots of uh, really interesting projects in you know the uh, trading bot sort of uh, sector of crypto so go check that out be open-minded go have a look uh, we've got chilling messages posted by millionaire crypto influencer before he was found dismembered 
inside a suitcase in Argentina as it's claimed he was being threatened over $70,000 debt. What I would say is, you know, with this sort of stuff, you know, being influencers, being wealthy, you know, uh, you, you are a target. And uh, I do a lot of uh, risk management stuff, particularly for members. You know, even if you're not, you know, somebody with the biggest portfolio, um, you know, I do encourage people to to take this sort of stuff really, really seriously. Don't overexpose yourself to crypto. Certainly don't borrow money in order to make investments and so on. Be really careful in this space. Um, it's a dangerous world we live in, right? Um, we got a fund here has slashed its crypto fund um, by 66% after the industry collapsed, according to reports. Um, the venture capital firm um you know launched their their fund and they're worth about 85 billion dollars by the way but they uh have significantly reduced it and this is something that you know uh i want to raise because like there are very prominent people in this space um lying to their communities talking about there being you know loads of liquidity i'm telling you now there ain't no fucking liquidity right and when i say no I, i'm obviously over exaggerating here you know there isn't as much liquidity as certain influencers slash hedge fund you know uh founders and you know managers would have you believe believe me on that right like um i'm not really sure where you know people get off on lying to their communities about this sort of stuff like this stuff's all on chain you can see it go go research it um be careful who you follow uh, some of them are talking out of their ass natwest customer debanked for crypto trading amid uh nigel farage row so a group of facebook um individuals uh conspiring uh 10,000 former natwest customers and are taking NatWest to court against the bank's alleged uh, debanking practices. So this is something that I have warned people about, again, in the risk management aspect of things. I have talked about how best to, to you know, onboard, offboard from, from crypto. Um, you know, again, there are um, things that you can do that mitigates this risk. So I think it's really important. Uh, that you uh, pay attention to some of the content that we're making, right? Because we're ahead of time. We knew this stuff was happening and we try to let people know how to avoid and mitigate these risks. Let's be safe in this space. We called FTX before it happened. We saved people a lot of money with that. You know, uh, we called that shit before, you know, uh, CZ, the um, CEO of Binance, put out his tweet. We flagged that, you know, probably about two or three days before he tweeted. So what I would say is, you know, we're, we're here to, to try to help people be successful in the space. You know, we're successful if you're successful is kind of my thoughts and opinions. The SEC issues warning over misleading crypto audits. And this is something that I actually praise the SEC for. I have seen uh, lots of companies um, implying that, you know, this is an audit and it really isn't a an audit in its true fashion so you know there are companies that are being very misleading calling audits calling stuff that aren't audits audits i should say um you know and telling you that it, it, it's an order audit and it really isn't it's really them saying this is this is what we've got and somebody signing off that that's what they've got because that's what they told them and that is not an audit so be careful make sure that you know these are actual audits and I, I, I do proud, uh, praise the SEC for, you know, doing this stuff because this is something I agree with. Like, let's be transparent and honest about things. You know, the SEC should be coming down hard on companies that are misleading people into believing that they are safe, you know, upfront, um, you know, companies when they're not. So this stuff needs to happen. I think it's good for the space. And I think that, you know, companies that don't uh, comply with this should be punished and, uh I hope that that's what happens because that is how you clean up this space. This is very different here to, you know, um, regulation with like few uh, through in enforcement, right? This is, you know what? It's not acceptable to be misleading about your audits. Like people now know that that is not acceptable. And that for me is not, you know, and should not be a surprise to any 
crypto company out there let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that i've covered today if you enjoyed today's video mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i will catch you in the next one take care